this specific industry, it was such a personal experience that I think sometimes the best companies and brands are built from somebody who has experienced it firsthand yeah. and knows how it can be improved. Another sunny day in Santa Monica. The city is known for averaging 310 days of sunshine per year. And today is just another average day. I feel like we have a lot of people that are like storytellers at the end of the day. Yeah. And when you're building a brand, that's kind of what you're doing. You're telling a story to an audience. Andrew Blackman is the co-founder and co-CEO of The Black Tux. The Black Tux provides modern formal wear online, saving you the regretful embarrassment of wearing a box fitting suit and plastic shoes. We started it five years ago. I got married. At the time, my fiance basically said, like, your responsibility is to make sure you and your groomsmen are dressed appropriately, looking good for the wedding. Yeah. And that was an unusually challenging thing that I didn't expect. And through that process, I originally wanted people to buy a suit, but it was a little bit too expensive for the age we were at, so we were forced into renting. And what we realized is that the rental experience is broken. We used mm. for my wedding a big box retailer. And at the end of the day, we had these big baggy suits that looked like we were in our dad's old clothing. And one of my groomsmen and I thought like, we should reinvent the entire process, make mm. it more convenient, yep. better quality, give people a suit that fits, that feels like something that's tailored from them for them and leverage the internet to deliver on those promises. So for me personally, I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. Yeah. I like like to do what makes sense to me in the moment and haven't often like wanted my life to be prescribed for me. Yep. So I don't like this idea of like you're supposed to be X, so you follow that path. Yeah. I sort of like uncertainty and um, adventure. So entrepreneurship makes sense. This specific industry, it was such a personal experience that I think sometimes the best companies and brands are built from somebody who has experienced it firsthand yep. and knows how it can be improved. So my co-founder and I, we experienced this firsthand and we were like walking away, wow, we should absolutely try to do something yeah. in this industry because we had such a poor customer experience. Yep. And as we talked to other people, we realized that was like kind of a similar understanding of the tux rental industry. It's yep. like, this industry is not great and yeah. there can be improvements. As a fashion e-commerce company, you might want to ask why Los Angeles and not New York? That's a good question because a lot of people expected us to be in New York. My co-founder actually went to NYU for business school. So okay. we did have this conversation. Do we want to start this in LA or New York? And to us, it was actually immediately like, let's do it in LA. Hmm. At the time, the funding market and I would say like the startup yeah. world was kind of small, but it seemed like it was blossoming. Yep. And we both had went to college here. So we thought like, that's a great place to start a company because a lot of the resources are coming to LA, there's a lot of talent coming to LA, yeah. and it's just such a great place to have a lifestyle. Yeah. So we decided, to us it was kind of a no-brainer. Like we thought about New York for maybe two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so for our business, a big advantage I think is ability to attract creatives to the yeah. company. Like okay. we're building a brand, yeah. and LA is known for like content, creativity, you know, Hollywood is part of this, so I yep. think it's kind of in the DNA. Yeah. So for us, we've been able to get really good people on the brand and the creative side. I'd say another advantage is, or actually was, you could get technical talent for somewhat cheaper than Silicon Valley or okay. New York, but yep. that's now changed, I think. Okay. <laughs> the market value is the same in all three of those cities, yeah. would be my guess. Any disadvantage of being in LA that you find? For us, the disadvantage is that the fashion capital of the U.S. is New York City. Okay. So I spend a lot of time in New York City, like yep. um, meeting editors and making sure that like going to shows for men's fashion weeks to make sure that like the things that we're producing yep. are on trend and okay. kind of are the right things we want to be producing. The biggest lesson learned was how challenging logistics and operations are. Okay. So to run a tuxedo rental shop, you have to have dry cleaning, 
tailoring all these value add services in your yeah. warehouse that you know you can't just shell this out to a third party mm. to run your logistics you have to develop yeah. that in house so that was really challenging the technology to support that was also really challenging to build like the demand and the growth for our service has been there pretty organically since yep. day one. Yep. So it was also a surprise that we haven't had to spend a ton of time on that. Okay. But as we grow larger and want to acquire new customers, that does yep. start to become something we think about a lot. The Black Tux took a quick lead in an untapped marketplace of men's formal wear. By being early to the market, the company has found an even larger vision. So our goal is actually not to just disrupt tuxedo rental, but formal wear as a okay. whole. If you think about it, there's no formal wear brand that exists. Mm. If the things that might come to mind are the men's warehouse or maybe yep. J. Crew, but those are not formal wear brands. So okay. there's a space in this market for somebody to develop content about how to dress for formal events, um, not only weddings, but proms, things like that. Yeah. And we want to be the people that not only rent, but also sell and are the authority in the formal wear space. <laughs>